everyone this is the carefully created podcast with Priscilla. if you're new here you are most definitely welcome and welcome to everyone who has always been a part of this podcast thank you so much for the support for the love and for all the good times that we had together on today's episode i'm going to have an amazing couple join me as we share on something that you are going to love hearing i don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet but it's going to be an awe-inspiring session and i'm sure that you're going to definitely be blessed so if this is something that you're interested in please stay tuned and be a part of this episode god bless you hi guys hi Hi. (laughs) okay thank you very much once again for being a part of the podcast um, the last two episodes with each of you was super amazing. Ty was speaking about um, service and you speaking about working from rest and all of that. Super, super amazing. Thank you guys. And thank you for being on this couch once again. We need really a different couch now, but at least on the couch <laughs> once again. Thank you for having us. Also. Thank you so much. A couple of days ago, we were at the table and I can't remember what happened, but the only thing I remember was. Teresa asking you, who am I to you? And you're like, my wife, who am I to you? My partner. And then she was like, I just wanted to remind you who I am to you. And I, I can't remember the complete scenario, but she was trying to make a point that because you are my partner, you know what I'm capable of. You know how this is supposed to happen. Do you remember that conversation? I do remember. Exactly. So, and for me, it's registered, right? Because generally, it's as if I'm always, everywhere I'm going to, I'm taking note of like couples dynamics. Like, I'm learning how partners are working together, putting each person's strength to use to ensure that this marriage, relationship, partnership, what we're doing works, right? And I think that you guys are doing a good job. Beyond okay. being married, beyond being married, you guys have been together for like six years now. I've been yes. seven. Se- ah, sorry, seven, still seven, seven in March. Seven, yeah, seven in March. Amazing. I mean, so for seven years, and beyond being married, you guys do business together. No, seven in May. We've known each other since like, for seven years in March. For me, March. Okay, 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 okay. Before the dates. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, got you. Got you. Okay, so you guys do business together. You guys work together. You guys serve together in the same church. You are basically in each other's spaces. Do you want to? Run how this works with us. <clears throat> I think for me, do you want to go first? Mm-hmm. It, it didn't happen all at once, it was like in stages. I mean, of course, we met in church, mm-hmm. right? And I was getting ready, I think, at the time to join the workforce, and we had just started talking, so it was a decision that he helped me navigate. And so, the first things first, we served together, and then we started dating, and then obviously, it was a romantic relationship. It wasn't until we got married, we'd worked on projects together while we were coursing. Yeah. And we knew that we had, because not every, and I don't recommend that every couple work together, because just as you have a great relationship with your friends, but not every of such friendship translates into a good working relationship. Mm-hmm. In the same way, not every husband-wife dynamic necessarily works in that way. Mm-hmm. But for us, we noticed that not only did we you know, work well as an item, like a couple, yeah. we actually worked well together as partners. Um, different strengths and weaknesses and we balanced and complemented you know each other mm-hmm. and so we knew and when we got married it took some convincing on his end but we ended up working together but before then our lives had become very integrated mm-hmm. um, we were working i think remotely at the time doing different things different companies he was working for a startup at the time i was running my business so it allowed us to sync our schedules work out of the same space and bit by bit, because we attended the same church, because we worked remote down, we were working out of the same office. Mm-hmm. Bless you. Bless you. It just, we just noticed that our lives synced, and of course, when we got married, that just went to another mm-hmm. level. And I think we're really we're fortunate. <coughs> so I've been blessed with like a really good awesome. friendship. Good. Yeah, we're fortunate to have been blessed with like a really good friendship. So everything just kind of worked. So it didn't happen all at once. Mm-hmm. It was different things. This part of your life is interconnected, then it's overlapping, and then. You know, interconnected, and you just keep going. And before you know it, it's interlapping. English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. How does that affect your dynamics as a couple? 
the fact that you worked together because you were very correct to say not everybody who is in a romantic relationship can actually work together how does that affect the relationship <clears throat> working together um so it's still a like i said just one year in yeah all right so it's still a a terrain that we're still navigating mm -hmm. Like she said, it, it comes with its own challenges, mm -hmm. all right, and um, so we're still navigating that, but so far we've been able to understand what the goal is and try to help yeah. each other's weaknesses. We mm -hmm. try to cover for each other. I think that's one of the things that helps us a lot. How we, we, are, we are not, we're not, we don't just, if the work needs to be done, somebody will do it. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can now discuss whether you dropped the ball here, you should have done it, you should have, you should have been mm -hmm. the one to do it. But mm -hmm. for, for the time being, when we, we need to execute, we somebody just takes up that task. And it translates across both, both our home and our work. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is no, we don't have any set roles. Okay. All right, we, we feel in for each other. If somebody needs to do this, the other party can do it so it's not there's no specific um, gender roles as in regards to the home front yeah. and our work also your uh, your skill sets your expertise okay. come into play all right and even if one person is not uh, meeting up mm -hmm. like i said somebody covers up first and then we can have that conversation later okay so what i'm hearing is it's not even necessarily strength based but need based that's it. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Okay. Um, but also need these and I, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Okay. In the sense that um, okay, say I'm preoccupied and there's something at work that I'm the one like when we look at it and I need to get it done, but we have something to do on the home front. Mm -hmm. Like we, we just understand okay, this is what we need to do. Yeah. But we also um, account for the fact who will get it done. So there are times I was like, you can't do this because I'm going to get it done faster. Mm -hmm. We're better served as a team yeah. if you do this and I do yeah. this. Uh -huh. So we kind of, and some other times I'm like, no, baby, you're better at this task and I'm kind of tired. So why don't you do this on the work front? I'll do this on the home front. So there's that like fluidity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think we've also learned, and it, it changes even okay. in the year. Even in the first year, it's changed quite a bit. Like you said, and I really agree, we're still navigating yeah. terrain. Like, we have our roles, which mm -hmm. will become more defined, you know, in the work front. But then, there's just a dynamic that works. We, and I think the most important thing is we're considerate towards each other yeah. and we try to be kind. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that your partner is supposed to do something. If they're exhausted or they're burnt out, you fill out for them. Mm -hmm. You know, so that kind of, yeah. Translates into yeah. work. Awesome. So how did you get to this point where you have been able to say, you know what, I will step in, let's you, yes, or I will step up, or I will do this. Like, did you always start out like that, or how did you get there? I think I'm, I'm just remembering when um, Akon was still dating. Or cutting, <laughs> cutting sounds very old. <laughs> old English. Yes, but that, that's the Christians don't date. So. Yeah, right. So yeah, Best so that was the dating. Um, I will stay up all night because she had a proposal to finish. Mm. So I'm, I'm returned to phone, but mm -hmm. I did it together because she might be very tired and mm, once I'm like, no, please don't. Exactly. I'm going to She's going to sleep, sleep. and yeah. we have to, and there's a deadline the next day, so I'm mm -hmm. staying with her. Okay, so she okay, help me with this one. I'll take. I'll go online research, send it to her. I'm looking at you as saying it so that you've been nodding to say, yeah, hey, yeah, didn't yeah. do that one. Or, no, did no, 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 several, did. yeah, several times. Like, so, it, I think it's for, first off from the willingness to to be there for your partner. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Like I said, this, you know, there's a difference. So I'm for my own end. This is where me I'll say for my own end. I think I'm still trying to get to that balance because. Regardless of if we're working together professionally, like with contracts and all that, when I mean contracts, yeah, I would have still done some of these things. Mm. Regardless yeah. of yeah. if it was like set in stone, like written yeah. document that okay, yeah. you work for, yeah. all right, um, I would have still done them. Yeah. All right, so I'm also trying to navigate how to be in the frame of mind that this is also my work. Yeah. Mm. All right, not me helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You yes, so that's yes, I'm sorry, that's the adjustment. So but like your job now, exactly. So, from so I need to be able to move from that place where I was helping mm. 
too that we are now doing this together. Yeah. All right. That's so good because now that you are taking it on as a job, there's a different level of commitment that you have to it. It's not just, oh, I want to assist Teresa in her business. It's, we're working together, we're now partners, doing this work together. It's different, right, for you. I mean, I, I hear you say that it is different, but I'm, my question now is, beyond the work to be done, psychologically as well, there has to be a mind shift, right? So, um, that's very good. But now, to so the last question I want to ask you guys, because you are married and you work together, is there ever a time where it's like these two different areas of your life are intercrossing or crossing each other in such a way that you're like, hmm, does it affect each other in any way? I think that's the question. Okay, so from my own perspective, right, mm -hmm. like I said, it's still um, a terrain that we're navigating. Mm -hmm. Which I, from my own perspective, right, I think we've tried, we've navigated that pretty well. When I mean pretty well, in the sense that we we know when to, when I mean stop, stop to see when is it really affecting the marriage. Okay. All right. Awesome. Um, yeah. So we need, we are we are deli at least from my end, I'm very very deliberate about separating that. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, as much as it intertwines, that we sometimes we work. Um, last year, the second half of the year, mm -hmm. or maybe like third quarter of the year, we were really, really busy, yeah. right? Yeah. And then um, we we just knew where we where we, where we were mm -hmm. and what we needed to do at that time, mm -hmm. and we made it work. Largely, I think it's been um, surprisingly good. But I know there's like I said. So from my own perspective, I I'm still that mind shift of now that I'm moving to. It's a professional service now, not just yeah. a help. Like yeah. I'm helping my yeah. wife or I'm helping my girl, then girlfriend yeah. or fiance then. So yeah, but that I'm still learning. But however, I think on the marriage front, or as it pertains to our marriage, I've, we have been able to find, we're still finding that balance, but on the, it's, it's getting to the equilibrium. It's closer to the equilibrium than on one other tipping point, right? Okay. What has been your own experience here? Exactly. I think I love the fact that I said, from my perspective, like mm -hmm. 17 times, just in case. But um, I agree, I think that we managed it quite well, but I will give the credit to him because I can be a bit full on and intense. I would also, um, I think there was grace for it and godly wisdom, really. Mm -hmm. But he's also been, he's more the balancer. Because um, sometimes when I'm like, oh, I'm cranky about something at work. And I'm like, no, we need to do this. I don't like this. So he's always the person who says, you know, nowhere work stops and our marriage starts. You, he always says, you need to learn to separate issues. Mm -hmm. But I also think that having a sense of humor through it, mm -hmm. like sometimes it, it could be a tense conversation yeah. and then it ends up being banter and something we laugh about, but then we still address. Um, but I think maintaining kindness and mutual respect through all of it has been important. And it's not like it's been perfect. I would say Muslim, I'm the more dramatic one. Mm -hmm. That was like more a very measured person. So I think that it's this and that he keeps the calm on the home front. I kind of supply the intensity on the work front. Mm -hmm. So we have that, um, oh, we need to double down. That's usually me. So it can be a bit more intense. But I was that calm and that um, he helps things stay healthy and the way they should be. And I was like, I kind of keep things active. So we, but we, know, we know out. each other. Mm -hmm. So we let each other do what we're supposed to do. Yeah. So he allows me kind of get us to pick up the pace on work. I allow him um, keep the tempo, like kind of, um, should I say curb or check my excesses mm -hmm. when it starts to come mm -hmm. on. So and I think we maintain that. And there's a lot of honor awesome. between yeah. us. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. a lot of honor and respect. And I think we both trust each other, like we know mm -hmm. each other to be capable people, even though that can be a challenge because if you feel like the other person is capable but they're not showing up in their area of capability it can vex you, yeah it can be upsetting because yeah. you feel like you could be making my life easier but you're not mm -hmm. and I think it's it's both ways mm -hmm. he's had moments where he's like you know, whether I do my work and I definitely have well, moments where I'm like you have moments <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I did admit that I tend to be 
I can be the more intense one in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, and time we get things done, we're definitely more measured um, energy. So we're, we feed off of each other. We're, we're navigating the balance. I like that it's not been perfect. So we don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And we don't take the growth yeah. for granted. So, so yeah. we're experiencing each other in a different way. Yeah. That was supposed to be my last question, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have your challenges been? You guys have been doing this for one year. And I think that I am I'm very grateful that we're having this conversation because sometimes we get lost in the fact that oh romance and all of that heady love story, but that beyond all of that this is a partnership, right? Um what have the challenges been for you guys? I think the challenges would be learning to embrace each other's differences mm -hmm. but then allow the other person to build your area of strength mm -hmm. um, we're different so you know and I, I feel like marriage is I used to have this idea that the other person's job is just to cover your weaknesses mm -hmm. but then sometimes that also looks like teaching you how to be stronger and better awesome. in those areas that's, that's so good yeah so I think learning to embrace that from my perspective I think those are some of the challenges like friends are so embracing that I'm a planner mm -hmm. and trusting that's usually a good idea to go with my planning. Me trusting Taiwo with timing. Taiwo has a very keen and really time management. Punctuality <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you can never be late. Taiwo is checking the time. <laughs> so, time management is to say it's not my strong suit is an understatement. <laughs> it's not existing. <laughs> She doesn't have a concept of time. time. I really don't. I'm telling I look you, at like it's an hour to three have, hours to, and I'm like, we have time. I can do this, do this, do this, exactly. do this. Tell you have, well, we need to early. go to the airport <laughs> this morning. Not to decide. We're going to church. We have we're resuming work tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So we have some things that we need to do. Teresa woke up this morning. I said, so you know what we'll do? We'll shower now, yeah. <laughs> and we'll now quickly run through some of the things we're preparing for, for the work. first day. For mm -hmm. work, alright. Said okay, so we need to and I'm like oh, we're going to so we're going to church. And it's not because like we're going to church. What I'm trying to say, there's no time. Mm -hmm. But in Teresa's mind, she thinks 30 minutes is a lot of is time. a lot of time to be able to do so much, mm -hmm. which is good because <laughs> but in that sense you can't do so much in that time that you think you have. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so she did. But I but I also like the compromise that we reached. Okay. Because the truth is I'm usually right. If we hadn't done that, we still wouldn't have done mm -hmm. anything by now. So I think that's the balance. But if I hadn't yes, listened to him, nope. If I hadn't listened to him, we would have been late to church. church. And what I always says that I don't know the stage is their problems. So yeah. something happened and someone had my outfit and they didn't pick up. So it meant I had to give like 30 minutes looking at a new outfit, which adds into the time I was supposed to use to work. So this is what I was saying. I was compromised. Let's get to church so we can work in the car. Okay. And I did that. Okay. So neither of us were late and we still got work done. Okay. And I still got extra time to get some work done. So it's not that we were wrong. Mm -hmm. Just learning to trust each other. I was right that we did need to do the take work. care of it in the morning. Yeah. And we woke up early enough. Mm -hmm. It was right that it was it was not the smartest idea to try to do that at home. Mm -hmm. We would be late if we went, mm -hmm. went that way. Yeah. It was best at that. So we just took our laptops and we went. So I think again, for us is that many feeding of each other's strength. Exactly. I will trust that your understanding of time would help us get there early. I will trust that you knowing that we need to do this work, but let's find a way to do it in such a way that it doesn't get us exactly. So if this was a couple months ago, we would have probably just had a disagreement mm -hmm. and tried to. I would have tried to plan anyways, mm -hmm. and I would have been upset that Tawa wasn't really involved because he was trying to be early. Then he would have been upset that I was making us late, mm -hmm. you know, to church. Yeah. So it would have, but one of the things that was, he was asking me, I remember, just as an aside, he was like, so do you have a contract to go for this year? I was like, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> And he laughed of course, it. it's time to ask somebody if they have a punctuality to go for it. When talking about character development goals, it's like his punctuality is part of that. And I was like, mm, no, and truthfully, it just wasn't. I said, my punctuality goal for the year, we said it at the same time, is to listen to you. So I just let him be my alarm clock. And we traded it out. And it works. And it works. It actually worked perfectly. And in exchange, I told him, when I say we need to plan, just trust me, let's plan. And How am I doing? 
Yes. Well, rest. So, so now you see that it works. Mm-hmm. Truthfully, I've, I've come to realize that if we actually don't do it, we will not do it. So, yeah. so, so that's fair. Um, but I don't think you have still answered what are your challenges because now you have said that it works. No, so, like, okay, so, so this is us working back from challenge to solution. Uh-huh. So the solution is new, but the challenge would be learning to embrace, um, learn to embrace each other's strengths. Okay. Like you're good at this, I'm good at this. But finding a way, like compromise, finding yeah. a way, yeah. or more than compromise, like some kind of agreement. Okay, this is what you're good at, this is what I'm good at. How do we make it work for us? Okay, so like some of the challenges that I'm more active, mm-hmm. alright, and Teresa is more of the. No, you are, you are a workaholic. Don't just say you're more active. I was in a workout. Hey, not the Taiwo that I met. So no, no. See, you met Taiwo in big season. Exactly. was in a workout. Like Taiwo is very focused. Okay. So and he's diligent. not general. He's very diligent. I think diligent. Is so when he has a task at hand, he's very single-minded, right? But he likes Taiwo knows how to rest, and that's something okay. that I envy him. Okay. Okay. For. So okay. I wouldn't describe so him as a workout. I work. I work mm-hmm. from rest. Right. Teresa doesn't know how to rest. She's learning. She's learning. I appreciate learning. <laughs> so, the challenge is that she doesn't understand how, even though, like I said, granted, like I said, there are a lot of things we're still learning. So, it's not like we're perfect. It's not like I'm the most effective person, right? But I'm working towards that. But what I'm trying to say is that, so I work from rest. Mm-hmm. Teresa, so she, the challenge would be that she doesn't understand why I'm resting. <laughs> when there's work to be done. When there's work to be done. And she knows. And truthfully, I know that there's work to be done. Mm-hmm. But the way my mind works, right? But yeah, so those are the things I'm still, we're still trying to pull and push from mm-hmm. ourselves to ensure that we are better for okay. each other and the organization, all right? So those are the things that we're But those are the challenges that she's, she's always angry. She's like, I don't mm-hmm. understand. Have you done this? Mm-hmm. Have you done this? I'm like, no, I've not done it. <laughs> when will you do it? That is frustrating. <laughs> I was already to be telling you. <laughs> what do you do? That's when you're five years old. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm supposed to do work. And I know how to do it, but don't tell me I know what to do. Because, so those because are the when, I, when, when I came here the last time, it was like work. Like Tao could not see anything else but oh, work. Oh, human and thank God so it's like because I was so very tired. singularly yeah, focused. Very singularly focused. Awesome, awesome. You wanted to say something? Yeah, no, just what he said. I was just laughing because it made me think of something one of my siblings said about me years ago that I care like. An intense cherry that going to be aggressive. Be, be <laughs> aggressive. I'm very like, let's get it done. Why are you resting? But I'm also learning that, um, and I think someone else said that to me, work never finishes. Yeah, so you do need to, and I used to have this illusion that, oh, I will work, then I'll take like it, because I'm too extremes when I'm resting. Hmm. I'm not doing jack. Is that mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm. I'm like Garfield. I'm on his sofa. I, I, just, I, learned that, I learned that very recently about Yeah, me. like, mm-mm. but, and I think because I feel entitled to that period of rest mm-hmm. because I so very rarely okay. have those moments. Yeah. So I'm just like, mm-mm, I'm not moving. Like, life can just, you know, I can hang up my coat. But I'm learning that, you know, if you, if you keep waiting for that time, you can spend the better part of the year tired. Yeah. So one thing that I really and I learned from Tao was we work, we rest, and then we get back to work. So I think there's a lot of learning yeah, and so training yeah. beyond just covering up for each other. I think that's what we were doing, <coughs> covering up for each other. But you find that covering up for each other isn't enough. Mm-hmm. There has to be a bit of a trade-off in terms of strengths and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get because yeah. after a while, it's possible to start feeling resentful and exhausted mm-hmm. from having to cover up for the other person's weaknesses. But if you start to trade strengths yeah. or allow the other person to lead in the areas in which it favors you both as a unit, and then you kind of have that. So that those are the things. Like this year, one of the things I'm I'm trying to okay. yeah work on is so that's why you said I said I would go to the office space. Yeah, it helps my mind focus because there's no way I'll be in the office. Yeah, and I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Do you understand? Because yeah. my mind is like you can't be wasting time being. Yeah, rather you better be, be at home. Okay, and I'm booking spa dates. I'm finding you need to rest. So we're trying to <laughs> find. I mean, that's so good. Like, that's we're trying so to good. find the opportunity that allows us 
be yeah. leaders to be our best for each other. Oh, that's so good. Them, so that yes, yeah, so things. So and on this on. note, uh, on this note, what I like, I mean, you've mentioned it here and there. But what I like, some of your big wins, having done this partnership together. Mm. Yes, <laughs> amazing. It, it's like it's literally Amazing. biblical. Mm-hmm. One to chase a thousand, two put ten thousand to fight. Mm-hmm. What we accomplished in one year together, mm-hmm. it's so remarkable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that I just feel like the word, the word works. Absolutely, like it really, really works. Absolutely. And I think that the speed that you gain together, working together, is remarkable. And that's one of the things we want to focus more on. You know, just having better synergy because we're thinking if this was us trying to figure it out what would it look like with God we actually it yeah. were in exactly. perfect synergy um, so we would do so much more so I think it's been it's been great you know we hit a lot of major topics some of it we don't necessarily yeah. Yeah. get into yeah. um, but it, it was a very successful year and it's the best year you know my company has had yeah. Yeah. since we started so it's, it's really great yeah, that too. The power too bet- of partnership. Yes, I love it. Two are, be- uh, two are better than one. Yeah. That scripture is so real. I love it. So I love it. Thank you so much, guys, Thank for sharing you. all of this. Thank thing. you for having us. I mean, you literally invited us into your home and into your business, and you shared all of these ups and downs and how you guys have navigated it. And I'm, for me, I have learned so much. I've learned how you bounce off each other's strengths, take on, like, allow yourself. To learn mm-hmm. from what the other person, what you see that says strength, beyond letting the person live out their strengths, right? But also learning from the other person's strength and then growing through it, sorry, and then growing through it. Um, I think that that's also very, very profound to learn. So I have taken out some notes mm-hmm. in my head, right? And I'm sure that the people who have been a part of the podcast have also done the same. So. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you, the team. Thank you, the community. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Excuse my voice, but um, this is what's Belle. management. Belle. Mm-hmm. Belle. Okay, right. so who, who is going to sign out for us? All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, the, share this content. I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to someone that you know. All right. Um, so, yeah, look to the link below and um click on the link for more notifications or for any new content that comes out we love and um have a great time cheers <laughs> love it thank you